Welcome, welcome to Home Keepers. How are you today, friend? Got a good program for you today. I hope you'll stay with us all the way, but I first have to really welcome you, uh, realizing we have new viewers every day. Just hang with us. Name of the program is Home Keepers, and we're very interested in the home, every single part of it. When we get these homes right in America, it's gonna make a big, big difference. So this is our effort. And uh, to those who watch regularly and support us, thank you, thank you so much. And I'm thrilled because we have Deborah Ray on once a month and this is the day. So glad to have Deborah Ray back. And you know what we do? I, I get all these newspaper articles and collect them uh, and they're bringing to the forefront uh, health problems, especially in the United States. And then she has all the research and she carries it around up here, which is pretty amazing. But just this, just this one, here's three articles about diabetes in our young people, our teachers. I understand now that it's almost 25%. Do you realize that what that can do to the nation? And say in the next four decades. And so I'm thankful that our newspapers put a lot of information in here and then Deborah Ray can help us assimilate it and hope that we deal with things that are important to you as well. And I'm going to join Stephanie in the kitchen in just a minute. We're going to fix a, a red potato salad. It's got a lot of interesting ingredients. Maybe you've never put in a potato salad. Uh, but this is the time of the year where, uh, <clears throat> as we make this program, because it, it could be re-aired maybe in December, but as we make it now, people are doing picnics and they're getting ready and they're wanting to not have those hot, cumbersome type meals. And so here is a good addition to that, a red potato salad. <clears throat> we'll fix that uh, in just a second. But I do want to talk to you a little bit about that Young Power Shake that we have offered um, many times on this program. Uh, I have a friend right now with um, suffering with cancer and uh, in pain and it's hard to eat and that kind of thing and nothing really tastes good and it just doesn't land right. But the young power shake, as soon as he takes that, makes him feel better. And remember, this young power shake was um, born out of the research of Dr. Johanna Budwig in Germany at the turn of the century. And it proved uh, to be very helpful to many people who had cancer. And so uh, I fix it every morning. And I can be honest with you, after you get it down, it really, really feels good all in through here. And so uh, that information is coming up on your screen. Please remember that that is not the Home Keepers 800 number. Uh, rather, you'll call 1-800-750-3108. And uh, maybe you've been thinking for quite some time about trying it. And so this is your opportunity to do that if you call that number and uh, get started on it. Uh, the way I fix it every morning, it, it has, I put a little bit of milk in it, the fruit of the spirit, which comes with it, the protein powder, the flaxseed oil, and then I add uh, blueberries and just a, about a third of a banana and ice chips, and I put it in the little magic thing, and mmm. Sounds good. Oh, it is, it is good. It's very satisfying. So I'm anxious for a lot of people to start it out there. And how are you today, my I'm friend? Good. We look like we coordinated. We didn't even plan oh, this. Oh, we always <laughs> plan this, don't we? We really do. Look at the monitor. I know. It's good. Um, the, uh, we're doing these kind of things that, um, you know, you do this kind of year. But I think everybody out there is wondering, how many fans do you have now? I think I'm up to eight, nine. Now, it was ten of well, okay, we'll go with 10. We'll go with double. I, I put in. I'm a fan. <laughs> Deborah, would you like to be a fan? Oh, mm -hmm. 11. Yeah. I'm getting there. Yeah. Food Network, call me. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to need base. bodyguards here, you know, <laughs> protect this girl. Uh -huh. But uh, <clears throat> she does a, a great job. So what do you want me to do? Um, if you want to mix these up, you have the mayo, the sour cream, you have radishes, we have some green mm -hmm. onions parsley. I was telling Deborah, I haven't done a radish in about mm. 20 years. I don't know if I've ever I don't much like them, but radish. the recipe called for it besides they're very colorful. Yes, and she said they're good uh, it has anti-inflammatory. Mhm. Mm yep. Yep. So I have canola oil, 2 thirds cup canola. Yeah, this oil. is a, a different recipe because 
What she's putting together, you toss your potatoes in that, let them hang out a while, which we don't have time for that. And then you put this stuff in it. So, mm -hmm. uh, so it should be very flavorful. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, um, so we have some red wine vinegar. We got some Dijon mustard. Um, it says to uh, toss it with that and refrigerate until chilled. But these, these They're, are pretty they chilled. Are chilled. They yeah, are chilled. So we're good. Okay. And then we have some salt and dill weed and garlic salt and pepper. And all that. And I just. <laughs> Lots of stuff. There you go. Yeah, I'm a little curious about this one. We shall see. Yeah, we're just gonna mix this up. And and then what I mixed was um, now you can put the onions in there. You can put the parsley, mayo, the and mm -hmm. uh, sour cream. Sour cream, which is also a new one to me for potato salad. I've mentioned before, my mother-in-law made the greatest potato salad, and I don't know what was in it. Oh, you never got the recipe? No. I don't think she ever used a recipe very oh, much. Really? One of those, yeah. They should, recipes should always be handed down. And my, um, my husband's grandmother, they had about 13 children, I think. Wow. And I mean, for years and years and years of her life, she'd get up and make biscuits, two trays of them. And she had no idea what she's doing. She, by the way it felt, <laughs> she'd roll it out. Heaven. Yeah, that sounds good. Let me. I'm very this curious. Sounds, this smells good just by itself. That's good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. But then what happens when you add all this? Not that I don't take your word for it. Mm -hmm. I'll try. Hmm. Are you one of those who eats as you cook? I do. <laughs> A little bit. I try not to eat too much because then oh. I'm full by the time the meal. Well, I sit down Thanksgiving dinner. I've already You're had not it. Hungry. Yeah. yeah. No control. No discipline. Okay. So we're going to pretend this sat in the refrigerator uh -huh. for a little bit and chilled. Was that a canola oil or an olive oil? That was a canola yeah. oil. Mm -hmm. And then you top it with the eggs. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of stuff in it. Yeah, it really does. I think it's going to be really flavorful. And uh, we fixed a, a chicken salad recently, and there's really no end to what you can do with mm -hmm. these salads. I think it's just interesting to bring up some that are a little bit different, like this one. And it's just great not to have to turn your oven and on. And of course, all the time. we welcome your ideas uh, yes. on this. I bet there's so many great cooks out there watching us right now. Who should be here instead yes. of me? Well, no. But. Not a great cook. <laughs> so we're gonna okay. top it. Let me top it with eggs so we can do it mm -hmm. all here. Yeah, that's gonna be. There's a there's a fork for you. We all we oh, always eat off one. the same plate. We're oh a spoon. <laughs> spoon. Yep. yep. Just a little bit. Here, eat that radish. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I used to eat them. Oh man, that's pretty good. Really good. I wonder who ever thought of all these, this combination. Mm. Kind of different. That's mm -hmm. really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people out there get very creative with these things, and this is one of them. Mm -hmm. It's called creamy red potato salad. If you want it, we'll be glad to send it to you. That's pretty good. The more you chew, mm -hmm. <laughs> isn't it? After uh, that sat mm -hmm. for a while, oh goodness, that yeah, would be great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, stay with us. And that information is coming up on the screen. Then we're going to talk to Deborah. Glad she's here today. If you would like a copy of today's recipe, please send your request along with a gift of $5 or more to Homekeepers, P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758. All right. Deborah's joined me. Um, and she's <coughs> at Healthy Talk Radio, Healthy Talk Television, and... All she's known as the First Lady of Health. And <clears throat> if you haven't heard her before, then after you hear her today, you will agree with that uh, title. Before we do, though, you and your husband um, own WTIS, which is yes. a, a radio station in the Tampa Bay area, a Christian station for the most part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And how's it doing? 
Well, we've been around for 36 years. Mm -hmm. um, we have Governor Huckabee on uh, every day with us now, Dave Ramsey. We're getting a lot more local ministries. Um, we really have a mission to be a voice and a source of mm -hmm. education and empowerment for local people. We have several youth groups that have shows. We have a music minister on Sunday evening that brings in the most amazing Christian artists in the area. So Great. we're having fun. Having fun. Um, it's, uh, is it 11.10? 11.10 a.m. 11.10 a.m. If, if you're in the uh, Tampa Bay area. And I'm waiting for the day when she has her own show. She's just the best on radio. Uh, <clears throat> but so far you've been, you've been doing um, the programming work and, you know, all that. It's which um, fun for God to show you other ways and other paths and you, know, you get in the car every morning and say, Lord, I've never <laughs> run a radio show, so just show me the way. And by the time you get to the station, the phone rings, and it just unfolds the way he shows you. Yeah. So uh, thank God for all these uh, Christian, <clears throat> Christian outlets. And uh, most of the time people are in their cars when they're listening. 94% and... of Americans listen to the radio mm -hmm. at some time during the week. It's still the number one mobile media. And, of course, now you can get radio uh, we have a little app and a little uh, logo on smartphones. Take it with you. Absolutely. Oh, it's amazing. Because it's intelligent. You know, it's every day you can educate and empower people, and it's just a wonderful media. Dave, Ram Dave Ramsey was listed in Time Magazine, it was two years ago, as one of the most influential. And he's been that voice for people to get out of debt. And living debt -free. Wonderful radio it's program. It's God's money, not your money. Uh -huh. We're going to show you how to... <laughs> Better use God's money. Yeah, wonder, and we've offered his books, <clears throat> but um, he has a wonderful program. I, I, I'm interested that people who really know how to use radio, and he, yes. he's one of them yes. for sure. Yes. Okay, you know what really caught my attention this week, and uh, some of the major newscasts led with this story of almost 25% of our young people uh, have type 2 diabetes, and most of it stems from obesity. Absolutely, absolutely. And the amazing thing, Arthelene, is just three years ago, it was one in 10 uh, young people. They're the fastest growing group of type 2 diabetics. No longer is it 40s, 50s, and 60s. It's teenagers with type 2 diabetes. And you're right. You know, we don't have any idea what it means for somebody to develop type 2 diabetes in their teen years and live um, you know, a generation and have children because we know some of these problems set the stage for problems in next generations. And the British research that shows very definitely that there are certain nutrient deficiencies that may trigger these genes that set the stage for type 2 diabetes. And then, of course, you fill them with empty calories, lack of fiber, lack of uh, good nutrition, anti-inflammatory fruits and vegetables like fruit of the spirit, uh, it, you know, it makes a difference. Um, what does that say for the nation, <clears throat> say, in four decades? Yes, yes. You, t you talk about health care costs. There's no way that we can afford that. No way that we can afford that. And, of course, all of us know the, you know, the consequences, the heart disease, the amputations, the eye problems, the kidney problems that often accompany um, type 2 diabetes. And, you know, we talked earlier about Governor Huckabee. Here's somebody who sat down in an Arkansas cabinet meeting in an antique chair. It collapsed underneath him. He said he was so embarrassed and so ashamed. Mm -hmm. He lost 100 pounds on his own, cured himself of type 2 diabetes, mm -hmm. and he's on a mission that we have that power within us. Yeah, and that's something we, uh, we really try to get across, that that kind of diabetes you can get rid of it. Right, right. And of course, that's what the Young Power Shake does, reverses mm -hmm. that insulin resistance, mm -hmm. that we're getting too much insulin mm -hmm. in this case, but the cells no longer respond to them. And that Young Power Shake actually remakes that cell membrane. And I've seen patient after patient that they wean themselves off those glucose-controlling medications, uh, sometimes the insulin injections as well, and they're free from type 2 mm -hmm. diabetes. I, I would like to address the parents. I, honestly, on this program, we try to talk uh, to moms, and they work and all, but 
you can get organized. Stephanie does a great job. That you can organize. She organizes her meals for two weeks. It's not rocket science. You can do it. And you tell the little sweet, spoiled, entitled darlings, no, we're not going to McDonald's. We're not going. We're not going to do that. Uh, I, I just uh, am concerned about the parents. That it's in their hands. Absolutely. Kids are going to eat what you Absolutely. provide for them. You can't blame them. the daycare. You can't blame the school. It comes back to being the parent, uh, to following biblical principles. We spoke recently about the Daniel plan. Mm -hmm. Here is congregations around the country going yeah, back to right. small groups of biblical principles and saying, if we eat what God made not the package things, we wouldn't get into trouble like this. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned to me um, something about this bone medicine that a lot of women are taking. Right. What did you find out? Tell them what you found out about that, because I'm looking for my article on it. It it's was in the, the paper, the too. It's phosphonates, things like uh, Actinel and Fosamax that are routinely prescribed for women that Boniva, have... Yes. One of them. ...have thinning bone, and now they're finding an amazing difference that women who have taken these biphosphonates have an 82% risk, I mean, that's up there, of having very serious fractures of their femur, their thigh bone. Of course, these drugs have already been associated with this necrotizing death of the jawbone. So here you're taking a medication to improve your bone density. <laughs> it destroys the bones. That actually has some pretty serious consequences. I found it. Yeah. Concerns raised over long-term use, use of bone drugs. And it mentions um, Flozomax, Boniva, Actinel, Reclast, that after years of taking these, um, they can have rare but serious adverse um, events. Well, they can say rare if they want, but I wouldn't want to take the chance. You're the rare one. You care about it. Yeah. Um, and the fact of the matter okay. is that now, medications are important, but there are so many things you can do. Just fruits and vegetables, fruit of the spirit. You know, Tufts University took a look at five groups of people, one who ate the standard American diet, one who ate a diet high in sugar, weakest bones, one who ate lots of dairy food, not the strongest bones. It was the group that ate the most fruits and vegetables that had the strongest bones because they're alkaline. And that's what's important to hold on to those minerals as we age. Yeah. Now, besides besides the food, what what can a woman do? Uh, I take something called Bone Up and sure, and sure, calcium, these kind magnesium, of vitamin D. Vitamin D is as important as calcium, and we know all too many Americans, even those of us who get some sun exposure, are vitamin D deficient. And simple weight bearing exercise. If it's too hot, walk in the pool but walk somewhere because weight-bearing exercise can increase bone density. Great studies of women in their 60s who were walkers and runners, they had the bones of 20-year-olds just because of their activity levels, Arthlane. <laughs> that doesn't cost anything to no, do that. No side effects to that. I, I work out with weights exactly. two or three times a week. Right. And, um, and so you say walking, anything that, keep, anything that keeps it moving. Right. Isn't right. it interesting that the children of Israel walked for 40 years? They walked. And I bet there was no obesity. Between the manna and the walking, they were probably healthier <laughs> than all so of us. I am so curious <laughs> to know what manna was like. Have you ever tried to guess? Well, I've, I've Googled it, you know, to try and read, but it, it is probably intriguing from a scientific standpoint mm -hmm. um, how that was complete nutrition. Mm -hmm. wasn't, you know, something fancy that came out of a laboratory. <laughs> of course, if we look at the label mm -hmm. uh, re uh, directions these days and we see a list of chemicals, and here's something that came from God that completely nourished His chosen people. That, I have a list of things that I'm sure we'll see in heaven. <laughs> you know, that, that's it's super certainly foods, one that... Pomegranates, the berries, honey. Honey's amazing. You know, mm -hmm. in Australia, they use it surgically because they don't get uh, the problems with the antibiotic resistant bacteria if they use surgical dress dressings actually soaked in honey after surgery. Really? Yes. Wow. So um, for, the, for the women, uh, we're not telling you to go off your bone medicine. We're no. just telling you what the newspapers and what the, the research says. But 
women have a tendency for their bones to thin right. anyway. Right. So uh, the fruits and vegetables and exercise, it's kind of like we harp on that. Right. But let right. me tell you, it works. Right. It, right. Write it on a prescription pad if you think that it will make it more yeah, powerful. Yeah. <laughs> but it does work and it improves bone density. And all of these drugs, if you put your doctor on the spot, they don't increase bone density. They slow down the rate of bone loss. So really? really the only way that you can rebuild your bones is to get out there and get active and make some changes to your diet. Um, okay, I had another thing here. Oh, this one, uh, this is older, but what I'm finding, and I wonder if you are too. Okay, we had Dr. Young, medical doctor, mm -hmm. who got weary of people not getting better, just putting Band-Aids on. Dr. Sinatra, mm -hmm. we had on. Mm -hmm. Um, there, there was another one recently. They just were discouraged, so they, they begin to look around, and they're all saying the same thing now. It's just what she just said, exercise, eat right. And here is um, a lady doctor uh, who is in the St. Pete area. She said, I was only 37, but at 5 feet and 2 pound, 5 feet 2 and 170 pounds, I knew I was heading for problems. So she changed. Uh, what she was doing, she lost 45 pounds. She's been transformed. And now she puts her uh, patients. I recently the... met a young lady uh, who's a physician in the area, worked in the emergency room. She said, my diet was awful. She was heading towards type 2 diabetes in her 30s. She started making some changes, has now changed the way she practices medicine, cured herself of type 2 diabetes just by making those lifestyle changes. I have seen this trend, and that's why I was wondering if you have as well, because you move in medical circles more than I do, a, a trend of medical doctors. I mean, Dr. Sinatra is a cardiologist, yeah. and they get none of this or very little right. in school. Right. And so uh, it seems like they're coming to it on their own. Interesting, because over 26 years of interviewing these doctors, it was the ones who had health problems themselves or their spouse had a health problem, or their child, or their parents, and they started looking beyond because modern medicine is wonderful for you know extreme circumstances, mm -hmm. accidents, surgical. You know you need high tech, but it's not good for chronic disease. There is no drug that has ever cured any chronic disease. It That's quite a statement. Yeah, yeah. But if you pose that to a physician, they'll think and they'll think and they'll say, you're right. It may ameliorate some of the symptoms. It may alleviate you know, some of the side effects, but it never cures the disease. That's the power within us to make wiser choices. I think it's, um, I got interested in it over 40 years ago. And those kind of people were really known. They were just called health nuts really out of the mainstream, but it is becoming mainstream. Now, are you familiar with the energy drinks that are out there? Yes, very acidic, <laughs> bad for your teeth. They'll uh, certainly erode the enamel. They're actually more acidic than soft drinks and lots of sugar in them in different forms. Yeah, uh, now this is potential harms caused mostly by too much caffeine or similar ingredients can include heart palpitations, seizures, strokes, and even sudden death. Uh, and this is out of the, uh, a medical journal called Pediatrics. Um, so what do they do? Do they give you an adrenaline rush and you think it's energy? Right, right. They, they boost your blood sugar, but because there's no nutrients or fiber in them, it drops rapidly. Um, again, empty calories. You could substitute something like the, you know, the, the Young Power Shake, have sustained energy, good fats. Um, you know, here you're just wasting money, mm -hmm. and there's so much evidence that we're. It seeing seems like tea. the kids are really drinking them, though. Oh sure. Um, I don't like I don't like soda pop, so that's not a problem with me. Uh, Preston, let's put up the graphic again for <clears throat> the Young Power Shake, and um, as I said earlier, that includes this wonderful, perfect uh, uh, protein, and you can tell us why this protein is probably superior to any other that you might buy. low heat. Otherwise, if you have another protein, it's broken down by heat in terms of processing, so you're not getting any benefits. As Dr. Young says, you can take it all you want and you'll never remake that cell membrane. Mm -hmm. um, 
by using these special proteins, yes. Yeah, and then flaxseed oil. Uh, Three parts flax to one part fish oil, the body's ideal ratio of the good fats in which 85% uh, of Americans are deficient. And, uh, you know, the eye-opening fact that if you don't get enough of the good fats, you'll never lose the weight and keep it off. That's interesting. You know, you think yeah. fat is fat. Right. Uh, <clears throat> and then, uh, of course, uh, the fruit of the spirit has all the antioxidants and everything, everything like that. And, okay, um, there's one more. Okay, um, where'd it go? Hang on here. Hang <laughs> on. Hang on. Oh, here it is. You mentioned a while ago. Eat fiber and live longer. Right, right. And Biblically, we ate 100 grams of fiber a day. That's how God created us. That's how we, we were We need made. that. 100 grams of fiber a day. When we moved away from the family farms, as we did in this country and other countries, when we moved into cities and let other people grow our food for us, 50 grams of fiber. The average American gets 10 to 12 grams of fiber a day. Hemorrhoids. Is that all? Hiatal hernias, reflux varicose veins, all related to lack of fiber in our diet because we're not eating whole foods. Uh, this one, uh, you know, it talks about everything. I love cooked beans, apples, all that, uh, whole wheat bread. Sweet potatoes, absolutely. And uh, nuts. And don't you need those kind for your uh, brain? Absolutely. The absolutely. Brazil nuts and Brazil that kind of walnuts thing. in particular. Two tablespoons of walnuts gives you your daily intake of the good fats. Well, that's easy enough. Exactly. And important minerals, selenium, mm -hmm. uh, magnesium. Uh, I mean, nuts are like a perfect food from, from yes. our baker. Yeah, God made them. Can't, you cannot improve on that. Well, we are out of time. i got a mess here going on. <laughs> uh, here's the power of positive thought. Yeah, okay. The Bible says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. Why, that's, that is some advice for healing. Uh, let us know. Uh, anything you want us to talk about and how you're doing health-wise, very interested, but we are out of time. So join me again, remembering there's no higher calling than that of a homekeeper. God bless you. If you would like a video copy of today's Homekeepers program for just $19.95, call 1-800-229-0059 for credit card orders or send a gift of at least $19.95 to Homekeepers, P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida 33758. Be sure to note the program number which appears on your screen.